guys, so we're in the middle of Penn Station right now. We just got off the train from Long Island. And we're about to head on the subway downtown to our first- Wait, guys, I am screaming. Can we look at my face right now? It looks like I'm a deer caught in headlights and I can't move my face because of this headband. Like, I am dying right now. I look crazy. Ever gay pride parade, yes. yes. It's crazy, we literally hopped off the train. I hopped off the plane at LA. People were attacking us, people that we don't even know. They yeah. were like, oh my god, are you guys models? Are you guys fans? Oh my god, they were so It nice. was so funny. We were shook. We were like shaking because these two middle-aged women like came up to us and they were like, we want pictures, we want pictures. <laughs> then this other crowd of people, they were obviously turned on that train. I guess they were going to Pride okay, too. This girl, it was so funny. she was so sloppy. She was like, oh my god, I love friends. So like, I love when people come up to you for a picture or like, I don't, like, why do they want a picture for us? They didn't even know who we were. I guess they don't know who we are. They just see twins. That look alike. Like, yeah. yeah, we're going to give you a little outfit of the day later on oh, yeah, in the vlog. Worry. We're serving you rainbow bright sailor moon realness, okay? I'm just so excited to take you guys along our first ever pride. It's going to be an experience. We're going to be spilling all the tea, just taking you guys along, just showing you us just acting crazy. And because who knows what's going to happen? But little did we know. What was in store for us? The city is crazy. Like, people are out and about. Like, we are about to flame the house down boots. You know, okay? flaming the house. That's gonna flaming be the house. You know, ever since we were in five years old, walking around with a towel over my head, flaming the house, slaying the girls, and that's what we're gonna do today. Double the trouble with the outfits. People are staring us up and down, but you know, we're giving okay, them wait, a show. Okay, wait, and also, throughout the vlog, I'm gonna keep on, like, adjusting this, because it is giving me a facelift, okay? I know, like, it I is know. so tight. <laughs> so pray for us. Hopefully, we're alive by the end of this. Hopefully, you'll be able... So, if, if, if this is uploaded, you'll we survive. Okay, so we just got here and it is everything. It is so bad. Everything is so gay, so rainbow. I'm Everyone living. is so gay. I'm living. I'm living. Okay, well, I'm going to show you like the little view. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go. Okay, so we are here. Everyone is so nice, the energy is so cool here. I'm just like, yes, like we literally hopped out of the subway station and people were like, yes, and we saw the drag race queens. Like, this day is everything already. I'm, I'm excited for what's to come. Oh wow, we love that zoom in. Okay guys, you won't believe who we just ran into, this amazing group of girls. <laughs> Playing the game, they're out here. We bombarded so them because we wanted like flags for a picture because you know us always getting that insta pick. And they're like, Yeah, of course, like we want to get in the picture of you they too. They came through for us. They're our blessing in disguise right now, our angels. We're going squad deep, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, keep the journey going. Okay, so I figured I would give you guys an outfit of the day, okay? Because that's us. Cracky. So it is so hot outside, we had to mm. come inside to get a re refresher and Rite Aid. It's crazy, it is so humid and like we are living for it, the yes. energy is like amazing. But I'm like, okay wait, we need water, like where's the water? I found a flag too. So. Yes, we found oh. our flag, we picked it up off the street, it was so oh, funny. Let's see. Okay yeah, we're trying to find our grease wipes because you know, we are the grease wipe, we are the grease wipe kings, okay? Chapstick kings and grease wipe kings. But you know when it's like hot and sweaty, like oh, we need Oh, get me in the frame boo. Here I am, yes. <laughs> I think like you could just like clock someone. This Honestly, like, I just can't get over how this headband is giving me a facelift. I feel like I look so shocked and surprised. Yeah, that's so funny. I'm like, ugh, this needs to be like, is that good? Is she okay? So we're gonna go back out to the parade for a little bit, hang out, talk to some more people. Everyone's so fun here. And then we're actually going to an event later on tonight. Oh, yes. I like this club thing, so it's gonna be really fun. Y'all will see us dancing too, so. Yeah, we're gonna be dancing in the house down boots. We're also putting a lot of stuff on our Instagram stories, so we're gonna insert that here so you can follow us on Instagram and yes. see that. Okay guys, so we needed to stop in again and tell you guys that 
so many people keep on coming up to us asking for a picture and we're having our Beyonce moment we're like what is going on and we're getting on? so confused we're like do you know us or it's really just the fact that they see twins and they're like oh my god they're dressed the same we need a picture so you know I'm out here feeling like Britney Spears all your people look at me like I'm a little girl you know so they yes. can gaze for making us feel like queens just trying to give the gays everything they want yes <laughs> Okay, really quickly, the clips you guys are about to see, we look a hot damn mess. I am sorry, so shield your eyes. We just want to keep it real on this vlog because we got to give you guys the 411. And, you know, I'm kind of looking like a... You look like an egg. Kind of look like an egg with a monochromatic look. You know, the spray tan wore off since Pride. The under eyes are out. The brows not are not snatched. But we're going to roll with it because that's what we are going to do. We are rolling with the punches. So insert us finishing up the vlog and spilling all the tea. Yes. Hey okay, guys, so flash forward to two days later. It is now Tuesday. Pride was Sunday night. And we just kind of wanted to finish the vlog and update you guys on the shit show that ensued after the event and everything. So here's a little update. Things got messy real quick, okay? But we also wanted to end the vlog and just kind of give you an update on everything the last clip you saw after that we got to the event that we were at mm -hmm. and you know it was like it was fine we were partying. it was really cute it was, it, it was nice because we've been cooped up on long island for a few weeks so it was so nice to be out in the city living and be our life social for once you know yeah. <laughs> you were literally introduced to, like lance boss or bass or whatever it lance is bass, really. i think he's from like the backstreet boys so that One was a moment yeah mm -hmm. that was yeah. cute but like we were like unfazed we don't really get starstruck but we did get starstruck when we saw our queen Miss Kelly Dodd. Okay, and if you guys don't know already, we are huge Bravo Housewives fans. Keep out of here. Keep eating. This is my plate. You bitch. And let me put it in perspective. Like, that's like a normal person seeing Beyonce. Like, that's us when we see a housewife. She's one of the housewives of Orange County. And I'm not having affairs. You You look like every average fing boy. We died. We were looking over. Cooper's like, oh my god, that's her. And I'm looking over, I'm like, are you sure? Then I'm like, oh my god, it is. And I'm like, should we go up? Should we be that person? She was like chilling with her friends. We we're like, eh, we don't want to be those annoying people, you know? Somehow, someway, we finally go over to her. We were, we ended up talking to her for like an hour and a half, just gossiping and getting all the tea out of her. She it was, was amazing. She was living for us. We were obsessed with her. She's just like how she is on the show. She was so fun. I was dying because we were gossiping and getting tea, like, boiling hot tea about the show that we can't even everything. say. Like, she was just so fun and like it was just so it, it like made my life like yeah. people were like come dance and we're like no that, we're talking that, to our queen Kelly yeah. that literally was like the highlight of my entire life so here's a little clip of us talking to her here we're here with the iconic Kelly Dodd a queen like yes the queen of the OCs in the NY okay NYC. yes the NYC. NYC we're obsessed she's playing uh, our lives and what you guys want July 16th baby. July 16th come July on promo so that was really cute that was basically it we were dancing having a great time people were still coming up to us thinking we were like a thing it was kind of like crazy it was weird but, but I guess that's what happens when twins were the same exact yeah. thing so like you know we were living we were trolling it was a gag yeah but unfortunately all good things must come to an end right so right when we're heading back to the train to come back to Long Island we were in the uber and I had a fanny pack on so I was putting my phone in and out of my fanny pack the whole day <sighs> we get out and I'm like oh my god Luke I don't have my phone of course lovely me leaves my phone in the uber in the front seat in the city and gone then, this was literally a, my worst nightmare because we took some bomb ass pics on my phone okay but you're <laughs> forgetting that yeah okay first world problems like our we're not gonna have those pictures but you have a little wallet in your phone mm -hmm. you left your everything. license and your credit card with your phone so that was all gone so could you imagine the next day having to get that all situated it was horrible and we were trying to call the uber we're like mr uber my phone is in the front seat. Come back and give it he to us. He was not budging, bro. Like, I guess someone took it. I don't know. It was just it, it wasn't was meant to literally be. a nightmare. So, of course, we're dealing with that. Then, yesterday, we go to Verizon. I'm like, okay, I need a new phone, yada, yada, yada. Basically, we both got, we ended up getting new phones. It was fine. We had the upgrade anyway. So, I called Apple. I'm trying to get back onto my iCloud to get, like, all my pictures back, to get my contacts, my notes. Everything was on my iCloud. Of course, they get locked out of my account, so I have to like recover my account. It was this whole thing. It was crazy. But you know, at least I have my phone. Whatever. Of course, when it comes to the Coil Twins, things can never be easy, right? Nope. Mm -hmm. So I ended up calling Apple. I'm like, hey, what's the deal on my iCloud account? Like, am I going to get unlocked? Like, what's the T? So basically, what ended up happening, your boy got scammed out of almost $2,000. Okay. 
But seriously, just my luck. So I just type in. On I mean, Google. it's funny now. We're laughing about it now. No, I'm really not funny. laughing. Actually, <laughs> not really. <laughs> it, it's been a nightmare. Like, so I googled Apple customer service. I'm calling them, and of course, Apple customer service picks up. Turns out, it was actually a scammer on the phone. So now, in hindsight, I know that Our luck. what these scammers do is they try to get the first result under like when you type in Apple customer service mm -hmm. and it was a scammer on the phone the whole time but they tricked me they scammed me into buying I can't really get into the details because it's going through the bank and all this stuff because mm -hmm. we're still trying to get the money back basically they he wanted, manipulated me uh, into getting like iTunes buying these card. iTunes gift cards he made us believe that there was hackers trying to get into Cooper's old phone. it was it was horrible it was and a mess. it was literally the manipulation and like the mind buying stuff. the mind of it all. It's just so scary when you realize how nasty and evil people are in this world. Like these con artists, like it's scary. No, these people are still trying to call me now. We, we had to block all their numbers. Looking back, it seems so stupid. Like how did he believe them? But in the moment, that's what it is. That's what con artists do on the phone. You believe it. How are we supposed to know? You think it's Apple. So basically, I literally lost my phone, got locked out of my iCloud account, got scammed almost $1,500. So we are working on getting that back. <laughs> but you know what? At the end of the day, probably I was still really fun and exactly. it was amazing. We're not gonna let this damper the mood, no. the hellhole that it was the past two days. No. But you know, we, we're like, I we am can sad because we it. did have a few more vlog clips that were like fun that, that we can't even annoying. put in this vlog. We had little clips of us dancing and singing, and we had another video of us with Kelly and like really, really, really good pictures. Like we did get some other pictures on my phone. No, but we had iconic pictures, okay? It's a waste. Even though the shitstorm ensued with him losing his phone, his credit card, his license, a lot of money, and pictures, and content, um, <laughs> we still had a lot of fun. At so. least we have each other still. <laughs> and at least it makes a drama-filled vlog, I guess. <laughs> At the end of the day, we really did just have such a beautiful pride. I mean, everyone was so really accepting did. and nice. And anyone that was dressed in rainbow, you could just... I felt Wait, so comfortable. Because everyone was so accepting and It loving. really was, and it was our first one ever, and I really... You, you felt the love. People were just so kind, yeah. and... I don't know, I was just kind of living for every minute of it. Yeah, so, so I can't <laughs> wait for next year. That's, That's a wrap. wrap.